Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It is cold out here. In the last episode, we added a Pariser. Pariser? Pariser? I don't know. Take your pick. How would you like to pronounce it? We added one of those to the compound, well, a little over that way. I gotta tell you, you're the best. And I really mean that because I had not thought about checking the river like so for, oh, I don't know, pearls. Turns out I need a bunch of pearls because we're going to be building a saddle today. That's right, we're going to be building a saddle. As it so happens, the saddle we're going to be building requires a bunch of pearls as well as a bunch of other stuff. Oh, what are you set to? I'm just curious. Oh, you're set to neutral. Look at that. You're actually not attacking me. Oh, now, now the poor... Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Um, no, we, we might need to... Uh, Ah, dang it. We might need to, to, to take a little uh, turn right quick here. Because I kind of think I would like to tame this guy. Ah, dang it. Well, scratch that. Never mind. Ah, uh, there's someone over there who could be tamed, I guess. I don't really need another one of you guys. But if you're going to attack the Dodicarus, then I might as well, oh, I don't know, shoot you in the face. And now you're going to go ahead and sleep. Okay, well, the Dodicarus is going to take care of it, so I'll let him do that. I'm going to get out of his way, or her way. I'm a little bummed about that bird. That was a level 30 bird. That's um, that's actually really good for where I'm at these days. That would actually be really nice. But, uh, you know, it's all right. Don't need, another, don't need another Argentivus just right this moment. It's okay. I'll go ahead and let Gothmog hang out over here for a minute because I want to go ahead and grab a few more pearls before we head back. So, sorry about that. That was a little side trip there that actually didn't go anywhere. I wasn't planning on that happening and, uh, you know, what can you do? I do see some cats over there, which I actually wouldn't mind getting myself another cat, but, uh, you know, it's all right. Not going to worry about it right this second. Don't necessarily need another cat. I mean, let's go ahead and be honest here. At this point, do I really need any more tames? I probably don't. Well, okay. I will I will modify that slightly. I think I could use some additional wolves. Oh. Alright, well, we're gonna do that, huh? I'm gonna hop on the back of Gothmog here, because Well, as soon as my torpor starts rising, if it keeps going up too high anyway. Go ahead and get rid of you. You're not going to get close enough. Don't even try. See? Told you. Well, I guess I needed some more chitin as well. And a little extra raw meat. Whatever. It's all good. Let's go ahead and run back to Gothmog here. And I'm going to meet you back at the base. Actually had a bit of a run-in with, um, we'll just say a couple more animals. But uh, it's okay. Oh, and I forgot to give Gothmog my raw meat. That's okay. Hmm, that sounds a little weird. Let's go ahead and build a Pariser saddle. So I'm going to let that go ahead and cook up for just a moment. And uh, I don't really have a whole lot of wood on me, do I? I don't, I don't think I do. I should probably cook that stuff up just to get some use out of it right now. Here, let me go ahead and grab a little, a little wood just so I can go ahead and start cooking these. And that way I can eat. That'll be good. There go. Let me just dump these in here. And that saddle should be done now. So let's go ahead and grab the saddle. I'm not going to worry about eating just yet. We can run back for that in a moment. There is the Pariser saddle. That's pretty awesome. Now this is not just any saddle, of course. This is a platform saddle. So that means we're going to be able to build stuff on top of it. Now I asked you at the end of the last episode, what sort of things do you think would be good to throw up here? I had a couple of suggestions. I would still like to see a few more because why not? Yeah, you're going to need some more health there, buddy. Champa needs a little more health, I think. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, climb up on him here. And then if I let go, here we go, just like that, I am on top of the platform. And I have to say, that is pretty awesome. It's pretty good size space, realistically, here. I mean, it's not huge, but let's just take a moment here to take a look at Champ compared to, say, a Bronto. And let's just acknowledge that Champ is nowhere near as big as a Bronto. Not even close. Now... Obviously, if you know the Engrams well, you know, I need a little more time before I'm able to build that Bronto platform saddle, but yeah, it's in the works. 
I think I've indicated as much that I would like to do that. But I think we're going to go ahead and throw a couple of things on top of Champ today. But maybe not a whole lot, just because I'm not 100% certain what I would like to grab. What I'd like to put on there. Or grab. Whatever. Either way. I was thinking of grabbing this meat. Not, I don't know, whatever. Here, let me go ahead and eat that. And that. And I'm going to grab a bird over here. As soon as I can find one. Let's grab a bird. We're going to go ahead and grab not Skywalker, because you still don't have a saddle. I should probably take care of that. You are all about weight, though, so that is all your job is. You're not ready to do anything aside from fly, so come on, big bird. We're going to go for a bit of a flight because we're going to need to gather some materials. I'm not going to go too far. I just want to kind of uh, go out and we'll stay over here just a little bit. This should be fine. That way I'm pulling all of my materials from an area that I'm not going to have to worry about everything regrowing. I just I'd like to make sure of that. And then by going over here, too, I'm not going so far out that I'm going to have to worry about things like Alpha Raptors and Alpha Carnos and Alpha T-Rexes, or that's the hope anyway, because I'm not really equipped to deal with one of those or all of those right this moment. So I think some good things to go on there might be to start with a bed. So what do I need for that? I need some more hides. Those are going to be back home because I don't have a bunch of those handy. But other things might be good, like having a storage container. So maybe a large storage box. We'll go ahead and build one of those. Uh, campfire would probably be good. I can go ahead and collect some rocks to do that. Uh, some standing torches might be good. So we're going to go ahead and create... Uh, we'll do two of those, since that actually... Is, I need more stones before I can make some more of those. I'm going to grab a little more wood here. And I'm just going to load Big Bird up with all this wood. Just because I'm actually kind of running low. I mean... Seems like I shouldn't be, but I actually end up going through quite a, quite a bit of wood. So I'll just go ahead and throw all of this wood onto Big Bird. He'll be fine. He's strong. He can carry all of it. We'll give him uh, most of that. And then we're just going to hop on him. And you know what? I, I didn't even need to do that because right here. Let's go ahead and get some stones. Sure, I could run around and collect them the other way, but, you know, pick them up, that sort of thing. But I figure I'll just go ahead and grab him good two rocks worth. And you know what? Let's just grab a little more flint just because I can always use a little more of that. I think 66 stones will be sufficient. And here, let's go ahead and do another... Well, I don't want to do too many standing torches. You have a limited number of items you can put on the saddle, the platform. So I don't want to load it up with too many frivolous things like, you know, torches because being able to see is overrated. Well, let's go ahead and build a couple of those things and just start placing them on there. I'm not sure if I want to build walls and that sort of thing. I kind of think I do. So maybe I should think about that right quick. Um, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So just to see, I need all of this wood back. Then I would need... I feel good about doing a wooden foundation. Not a fence foundation. We'll do a regular foundation. I'm going to need a lot more wood if I end up doing it this way. And we're just going to go ahead and fly him over here. Because this will be the fast way to do this. There you go. We'll go ahead and land him right there. And with any luck, I'll fall to the ground and then have to board this way. That didn't work out at all. And now Big Bird is absolutely in the way. Well, it was a good idea. Big Bird, go ahead and park it down here. I forget that I always eject to the right, and uh, I parked such that I was facing the wrong way when I ejected. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. There are a lot of looks in there. Let's put down a platform. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that now, because that's not very far. Can I do one here and then maybe one on the side? I don't, I don't know if I can do two of them that way. Well... Maybe it'll just have to be exposed to the elements. Or maybe I'll be able to use fences, but I, I don't think you can build ceilings on the fences. I, I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I want to do platform or uh, foundations up here, rather. Hmm. 
Well, let's find out. I am I am curious to find out how this works, though. So, let's see. That is about... Well, it's not quite in the middle. It, it was kind of close. Let me go ahead and grab a little more wood. Now I'm really curious about this. I've got to admit, I haven't played with the platforms much. It's been on my to-do list, but there are so many things on my to-do list that, well, it's... It's a long to-do list. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Let's go ahead and, um... Hmm, that was inconvenient. That's going to make my upcoming plans a little more difficult, I think. Potentially. Do I have enough to make another one? Yes, I do. Good. Go ahead and grab a little more wood, then. Since that's going to free up some weight for me. Quite a bit, actually. And I want to grab just enough that I can make another... As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and make two more. I'm out here. Let's go ahead and do it. We're just going to say we're going to put four platforms up there. I'm pretty sure there's room for more than that, especially if you really want to min-max your space. But I'm going to feel okay with that. So, ah, crud, I need some fibers. Okay, let's go grab some fiber here. Is that enough? Look at that. That was just enough. Perfect. So let me just grab a, a couple more, just because I suspect I'm going to need some more fibers. And it's funny, if you remember long, long ago, back in the early days when I was still playing everything on default settings, including gather rate, taming rate, everything was at 1.0, the standard of the official servers. At some point along the way, I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and bump this stuff up a little bit because it's going to take forever if I don't. And I did that. And I was doing something like this, where I was collecting a bunch of berries, and I ended up with several stacks of 200 fiber. I don't know, maybe 10, 12, 20 of them. I, I honestly don't know. I'd have to go back to one of those videos and I have no clue which video it would be to find out how many I, I ended up with. But to make this Paris or platform saddle, I actually used the very last stack of 200 fiber that I collected from that day. So yeah, I actually need to go collect fiber again Weird. Wasn't expecting to have to say that anytime soon, but uh, there you go. So let's go ahead and put these guys up here. Now this does mean, of course, since I have put platforms up here, oh, I can, I can do two more, no problem, right? I can easily do six. But this means I can go ahead and put some walls up here. So the idea is that I can actually end up with something along the lines of a house that could go into... Oh man, look at that. I need all sorts of stuff now. That could go into, oh, I don't know, any area really. And so long as I'm not overheating too much in it, I'll be okay. I can I can deal with cold because it would be indoors and I can have, you know, some fires, that sort of thing going in there. I kind of like the idea of that. Now, I don't know that I actually want to try and drive a Paris or into the, into the snow. That sounds like a kind of horrible mess of a situation, but, you know. Oh, where are you going? I should have just landed you. I, I, you were, you were doing a pretty good job of landing lately, so I just thought, yeah, you know, what the heck. I'll let him go wherever he wants to go. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. He didn't go too far away, and I hear Dodo, so it can't be too bad of an area to go, right? But anyway, I do like the idea of having a proper roof above my head up there. That way I can, uh, you know, like I said, kind of have a little bit of security from the elements, a little bit of safety. Now I need to get some fibers. So let's go and grab some fibers. Ah, uh, dehydrated. I like being dehydrated. No, I really don't. Let's see, do I have enough now? Yep. I need just the hides. So that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Hop on Big Bird here. And we're going to go take care of the hides, and we'll put the bed up there. And then I'll ask you one more time, what do you think should go on this platform? Definitely open to suggestions. I think what I will do, though, just to be clear, is I will add two more wooden foundations up there. I might even remake these and center them more, because that kind of bugs me. But I don't know. We'll see about that. I don't, I don't really know that I want to try and get three on there. I don't know if it would quite fit, and I mean three wide. Maybe it would, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. 
but just some suggestions of things you'd like to see on there. Keep in mind, you can only have 32 items on the platform, and that includes everything, wires, etc. So you can't put everything on there. You can't have some crazy electrical system and all sorts of stuff. You are limited. That also counts things like torches and that sort of stuff too, so just keep that in mind. But I'm definitely open to some suggestions on there. I don't think this one will be a massive battle station or anything like that. I think that might be a little too much. So I'm not going to be concerned with or um, necessarily be considering doing a bunch of auto turrets and things like that. Because again, start talking about electricity, cables, maximum number of stuff you can put on there, all that sort of thing. Oh, I tried to land on its neck. It didn't work out. Let me take a quick look before I comment on whether I'm going to try and put three wide or if I'm going to rebuild these because, yeah, I'm going to end up rebuilding them. But that's okay. I can rebuild them and then rebuild a bed and all that sort of stuff. That's that's not a big deal. I just, I'd like to put this stuff down to get an idea of what it's going to look like because that, that helps me out a little bit, actually. I'm not always the best at at kind of picturing what this stuff looks like. So that's in there, and I'll, I'll have walls on there before I start putting stuff down with any sort of permanence. But again, just to kind of see what things look like, this actually helps me out a lot. And I don't know, maybe if you're not as visual like I am not as visual, then it might help you out too. There you go. So there's a bed, and if I were to die right now or even just interact with the bed, you can see, yeah, got a bed right here. So this is where I'm at right now. If I were to go to one of those other beds, then this one would show up. But just for kicks, let's go ahead and drive him around with the platform on him. That's kind of hilarious. Not necessarily in a laugh out loud sort of way, but it just looks kind of ridiculous, honestly. Probably because I don't have any walls or anything on there, but oh man, there is something really cool about that. I, I gotta say, when I was first thinking about this game, and you know, just as I've seen it develop, I did not predict anything like platform saddles, and uh, there's just something insanely cool about that. I have not seen any other game, not to say there is no other game that has done it, just I have not seen any other game that does that. I think that is really cool. I mean, I guess you could talk about space engineers and that sort of thing where you know, you're building vehicles, but that's a little different compared to this, where we're talking about an animal that we've essentially tamed, that you ride around on its back. And it, you know, if you want, it kind of does its own thing. And yet, here we are, putting a big platform on its back and able to use it for anything from somewhere to respawn and store your stuff, to process materials, to even turn it into a war beast. Pretty awesome. That's good stuff. But I'm going to have to call it an episode right there. That's the end for this one. So I will catch you on the next one, probably doing a little bit of streaming this weekend. Again, pay attention to Twitter, Google+, Plus, that sort of thing, If uh, assuming I remember to post it first. That is a large pile from a not-quite-so-large creature. I might need to take him to the vet. That's a little worrisome. But again... I try to announce that stuff when I'm going to be streaming just because uh, I know some folks have expressed some interest in having a little heads up on that and others have told me before they're a little upset they had no, I no idea I was going to be doing that. So there you go. I try to let you know. I don't always do it, but I try. Anyway, have a good one. I will catch you next week with the regular stuff and uh, hope to see you this weekend too. I definitely enjoy doing that. It's a little more relaxed environment and... Uh, Sometimes it's just fun to kick back and talk with everyone and kind of do some sort of long-term stuff that doesn't necessarily go as well in these shorter videos. So, hope you enjoy. Catch you then. Thanks for watching. See you later.